Okay, so this is day 16. Um, I'm already on Gunner, and we're walking down to my friend Karin. Um, so we're gonna head out on a, a small ride. It's kind of cold today, a little bit windy. So I'm just gonna take it slow and just in enjoy the horses for a while because it's always fun. Well, our ride is all done. We're almost home. Um, my friend did kind of slip. Um, well, it, it wasn't a slip. Her horse kind of sunk in the mud. Um, and um, when that happened, uh, he kind of rolled over and she fell off. Um, they're both fine, both safe. So, oh, and now I'm going to get off right here, but yeah, and now it's, uh, 10 o'clock. Okay, so I am just leaving my man's house. I went in and talked to Bob and kind of told him what happened when we were on our ride. Um, so what happened is that it's been kind of rainy and whatever here and I think it did rain a little bit last night not 100% sure hold on so I think um there was a truck coming I don't think there was a truck coming so we went up into this driveway I went into the driveway driveway and she went into the um the like the dirt and went kind of up into their lawn. Well, I didn't notice, and neither did she, that it was the water line um, where, that she went on to. And that's obviously going to be a tad bit more muddier and whatever. And she um, was standing there, and we waited for the truck to go by, and he kind of slowed down and waved and, you know, said that we had pretty horses and whatever, like the normal thing people do. Um... She was standing up there and I was standing on the driveway. So I kind of was like parallel to where she was gonna walk out. So like my horse was in her way. So she, I can't exactly remember what happened, but she was coming down and all of a sudden her horse just sunk in the mud. It wasn't mud, it was just like dry, like really moist dirt. Um, and he kind of toppled over on her leg and she kind of just fell off uh, but her leg was underneath um so i immediately got in the way of the horse in case when he got himself back up that he would run um and he it looked like he sunk so he got he righted himself back up real quick and when he did he like tried to you know obviously like get out of the mud and when he did he sunk again and like for a few strides till he got to the the driveway that I was at and kind of shook himself off and stood there so I got off my horse she had already gotten up at this point and was walking towards where we were and I um she was fine he was fine uh, we did take his bridle off and um, hook the lead rope uh, up to his halter because she rides with the halter um, and kind of just took a breather for a second um, kind of assessed to see if he was okay she walked around the truck that we that had passed us saw what happened and had stopped and come back to make sure everything was okay and um, if you know anything was wrong and he didn't and nothing was wrong she was fine he's fine um so all is good and she walked back home and i got back on gunner and we all we both walked back home grandma i apologize for the mess but we just got your gift and i'm gonna let patrick open up his because it's his birthday card yeah, i'm terrible at opening things let's let him open it up don't you hate it when people try to blame late birthday 
based on all circumstances and unbelievable events. I would never do that. Hope it was happy. Thank you. <laughs> he loves Sonic. Mm hmm. I can put that right in his wallet. So thank you, Grandma, and we're going to put all of your presents underneath the tree. And I won't open up anything till Christmas or her birthday. Try not to, you know. The struggle's real. <laughs> we're at Red Lobster, and I got the Parmesan um, tilapia with, uh, I told him to surprise me, and he got me sweet potatoes and broccoli. And Patrick got the normal shrimp scampi, and he'll eat through all of that before I'm even halfway done. Because he loves shrimp scampi, don't you? Mm-hmm.